How's it going guys? I know it's been a while. It's been about a month, a little over a month. Life hasn't been treating me great, but I'll tell you what, back in the woods, I got something cool today. So, how to get water from trees, part two. You can get water out of this branch right here. This little branch right here. This isn't a poisonous tree. This is spice brush. You can actually cook with this. But, how do I get water out of this branch right here? Well, the simplest solution is a piece of plastic. Maybe you've got a grocery bag laying around. You can use this. Maybe you have an emergency poncho. You can use that too. Maybe you have a plastic sandwich bag in your survival kit. You can use all three of these things to collect water from this tree. There's two different ways you can do this. There's putting the bag on the branch and then there's also the in-ground method. I'll show you the in-ground method in another video, probably next week, hopefully. To do this, simple. All you gotta do is find a tree that's not poisonous. So in this case, it's gonna be a little bit of spice brush. And it's right here, out in a little bit of sun. We're gonna take our bag. And we're just gonna take the greenery of the tree, stuck it in the bag. And we're just gonna stick it in the bag like this. We're gonna close this bag right on up. And what's gonna happen is, is condensation is gonna form because of how hot and humid it is. It's gonna condense on the bag and it's gonna drip down into this corner here. So let me rearrange the shape of how I've got this bag in here. So that way there's a definitive corner there. And for added security, we can just tie this off. All right, guys, so it's been a day a really hot day. It's been 91 degrees. Got a decent amount of humidity going on here. And uh, we have ourselves some water in here. Got water in here and we got water in this one. Although there's a hole in this one that I didn't see before. So let's take our cup and see how much water we got out of these two bags. Alright, so for the first bag, I just noticed that we got a hole right here. So There's still more water in there. So off of the grocery bag, we got a little bit in there. Now for this bag. This bag didn't have a hole in it. I'm sure our spice bush appreciates being out of the bag. So let's take a look at it up close. So we have, we've got a little bit of water in there. Now that's enough for a drink, basically one swig. This method does not produce that much water. It produces safe water, but it does not produce that much. So the more bags that you have out, the better this method works. So this is water that's been taken from this tree right here over the course of a day, an evaporative process. Let's see how it tastes. Tastes slightly green, but overall, just like distilled water. Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, hit that bell dingling icon down below. You'll get notified every time I watch a new video. That's more knowledge for you. You can jump on these videos faster. I respond faster when the videos are fresh. In the meantime, Thanks for watching. I'll uh, throw out the next video next week on how you can do this in the ground. See y'all later.